isang araw ay dito ko Halos lahat ay isang papo Di ko lubos maisip Di ko alam kung paano Unti-unting nagbago Um, right now, probably thinking about retirement. I don't know. I'm not uh, closing this. Uh, still presented at 64. Tingin hindi nakita mahal sa bayhupad ng yung singsinga po. Binalot ng galit at nagbilim ang paningin. What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, and we're back for another one. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, uh, it's been uh, two days since, unfortunately, Manny Pacquiao suffered crushing defeat to your Danish you guys. Uh, shouts out to you guys, man. No hate, no shade. All right, today's topic is going to be should Manny Pacquiao rematch your Danius, you guys, after that crushing defeat? Retirement or rematch? All right, man. So it it was, you know, I put out my last video about the fight. Let me cut this off, man, so y'all can hear me. I put out my last video about the fight, and uh, I when I made that video, I didn't. I was trying to live stream during the fight, so it was a lot of my stream kept getting, I don't know if it was getting copyrighted claimed or I was getting DDoS attacked or something, but it kept cutting out, so I've never had that problem before. <clears throat> so I didn't get to see all of the rounds live. I had to go back and rewatch the fight. And at first, you know, because I was looking up and I was catching a few minutes, a few seconds here and there, I was only catching the parts where your Danish you guys was landing that big bow sudden um uh looping hook or the 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 long jab that he was throwing out there. I was only catching those parts. I wasn't catching the parts where Pacquiao was actually uh catching you guys and getting you guys with with good combinations. So when I went back and rewatched the fight, I was like, "Oh man, my initial thoughts were wrong, you know. I still feel like you guys won the fight. You know, I'm not going to lie about that. You guys did win the fight, but it was a lot closer than what I feel like the judges' scorecards were. So with that being said, you know, when I reevaluate Pacquiao's performance, it wasn't that bad. It was just, <clears throat> like he said, it, it seemed like he couldn't get his feet moving as quickly as he normally does. And, you know, I spoke about this. A few months ago, you know, when I, I think I called the video, will the two-year layoff affect Manny Pacquiao? I think that's what the name of it was. And it did affect him. You know, unfortunately, it did for Pacquiao fans, it did affect him. It, it caught him in the legs. Um, now is that something that can be corrected? You know, only Manny Pacquiao knows that. Only Team Pacquiao knows if that's something that can be corrected. Or is that something that's just a um, a process of aging? You know, it's, it's, it's a symptom of aging. A lot of people are saying, well, Pacquiao got old. You know, Pacquiao looked bad. Uh, and I think a lot of people misunderstood when I said that they were trying to put him in a situation to make him look, um, uh, what did I say, make him look... Um, look bad i you know i was just basically saying that they made him they they tried to embarrass him i, I believe that's the word i used that they tried to put him in an embarrassment type of situation it was an embarrassing performance uh and i only said that because we're normally used to seeing pac-man you know we're not normally used to seeing pacquiao stand in front of an opponent. We're used to seeing an opponent standing in front of Pacquiao and Pacquiao berate him with shots. Pacquiao did well in that fight in spurts. You guys just did a little bit better, you know. And I'm not saying that uh, you guys is that much better than Pacquiao because if Pacquiao would have turned it on in, in maybe the seventh or eighth round, 
just for a minute or so, he could have won that fight very easily. I think that if he would have got two more rounds, I think he would have won that fight. I think it would have swung some of those judges to give him those rounds, those swing rounds that they gave to you guys. Because a lot of those rounds, you could have gave him the Pacquiao if he would have done just a little bit more. So I would say, oh, yeah, the legs did affect him, but they didn't have such a big effect on him to where he didn't put in at least a decent performance. And I feel like if he ramped it up, this is, and this this could be the thing, and I think this is what people are missing. <clears throat> I said it was a setup fight, right? Now I didn't say it was a setup fight because it's some big. It was a it was a setup fight because of the way the fight came together. You know, you're never supposed to fight an opponent on two weeks' notice, unless you've previously prepared for that opponent before and you've studied what they can bring to the table. I don't feel like they studied what you guys was bringing to the table because it seems like to me Pacquiao's plan was to fight Spence toe to toe. I think that's why he was standing there so much in in front of, I don't think it was just the legs. I think that that plan was just a toe to toe fight. And it didn't work out in Pacquiao's favor because I don't think they studied you guys' style well enough, and and uh, and 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 put an emphasis on the fact that he has a long jab, and his his hook, that looping hook can be used like a jab because it's so long. You know, you don't really see it coming until it already hits you. So I, I, I think it was a combination of, of, of two bad things because of the timing of the fight. I think they were preparing for a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight with Spence. <clears throat> At the last minute, you guys got thrown in there as the new opponent. <clears throat> and I don't feel like they prepared at all uh, for the length of you guys. I don't think they were ready for the length of you guys. It wasn't so much that he was... His power, it wasn't so much of you guys' speed, even though you guys did impress me a little bit with his ability to move around the ring. Uh, the length is what gave Pacquiao trouble. And, and there's some people saying, well, okay, Pacquiao lost to you guys. What do you think, like I said, that they would, what do you think Spence would have done to him? Well, Spence doesn't use his length in the same way Yadani as you guys uses his length. And I actually think you guys is a little might be a little taller but i think spencer's arms are a little longer or they might be the same height but spencer's arms are a little bit longer <clears throat> but spence does not use length in the same way you guys uses length you guys uses that loop and hook almost like a jab it just keeps you at range keeps you out of your it keeps you from getting in in range to attack him and it keeps him in perfect range to attack you it's a it's a, it's a great weapon for him so could Manny Pacquiao actually defeat Yordanius, you guys, if they rematch? And, and this is the point I was getting at. Because, <clears throat> because of how the fight came together and the fact that Pacquiao, I think, might have overtrained too. So you got the fact that they were preparing for Earl Spence Jr. And, and hold on, let's go back even further. They actually started in the Philippines, if y'all remember. His camp actually started in the Philippines about three months ago when they were talking about fighting Crawford. So Pacquiao was all confused for this fight. <laughs> no excuses, but he was all, that team was all confused when it comes to this fight. So they started in the Philippines trying to prepare for, for Terrence Crawford, right? And then when, when the Crawford fight fell apart, they stopped preparing for, for Crawford. Things kind of went silent for a little while with Pacquiao. And then the, the Spence fight got announced. So they went from preparing for Crawford to preparing for Spence for, I think, a month, a month and a half over in the Philippines. Because uh, him and Boo Boy were training over in the Philippines. Then they came to America for about, it was like maybe about a three, four weeks. Then the fight fell apart right before the, you know, two weeks before the fight. So they had been preparing for Crawford, went to preparing for Spence. And then had to prepare for you guys in less than two weeks. You know, it was it was a, a disaster 
waiting to happen. And that's why I feel like it was a setup fight because, you know, you can even say Pacquiao set himself up because he shouldn't, he shouldn't have accepted that fight on such a short notice. Not starting out preparing for this opponent, then that one falling apart, and then preparing for this opponent, then that one falling apart. Now you got this guy who I'm pretty sure you knew nothing about, <laughs> uh, who you just kind of jumped in the ring with. And even even though, you know, it came together the way it did and maybe his game plan wasn't always there, maybe he overtrained, uh, he still put up a decent enough performance to where a lot of people think that the fight was closer than what the scorecards, they still think he lost, but it was closer than what the scorecards indicated and that if Pacquiao studied Jordanius, you guys, he would probably actually beat him convincingly. Pacquiao's 42 years of age at this point. Uh, he would be 43 very shortly. There's a lot going on in the Philippines. Man, I was reading <clears throat> some stuff that uh, I believe I'm saying is Dirte was saying about Manny Pacquiao. I believe he's the president of the Philippines. Dirte, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that's his name. The Dirte was saying about Pacquiao, and they were some crazy. It was some crazy stuff, man. Uh, so I'm not sure if, you know, it was a lot of factors. Pacquiao might have been distracted also with what's going on in the Philippines. No excuses, though. So if he comes back and fight your Danish, you should he come back and fight your Danish, you guys, again? I would say yes. I would say win or lose, he should because it gives him a chance to rectify himself. It gives him a chance to perhaps get the WBA belt back and retire as a champion. Now, I would say this. I don't want him to come back and fight your Danish, you guys, become WBA champion, and then try to go fight Earl Spence or Terrence Crawford. Unless he's not running for president. If he doesn't run for president, I would, uh, I would encourage him to do that because I don't think he's done yet. I, uh, your Danish, you guys didn't knock Pacquiao down. He didn't knock him out. You know, he beat him up in the face pretty badly with some, some, he took some punches, but you guys took some punches too. It wasn't like you guys wasn't cut up all in the face as well. So Pacquiao put up a decent enough performance to where a, a rematch could be warranted. It's Pacquiao's decision, but I don't want to see him come back and rematch you guys. I would like to see him come back and, and rematch you guys, even if he ran for president of the United of the Philippines. But I wouldn't want to see him go after Crawford or Spence. Because I just think it's too much on his plate, man. It's not that I don't think he can beat him. I think there are too many distractions at play, and it could end in another disaster. Uh, and I don't want I don't want that for Pacquiao. But if he did decide to come back rematch you guys and doesn't run for the president of the Philippines, I would be 100% behind Pacquiao. Like, okay, yeah, go for them, go for both of those fights. You know, go back, train, beat you guys, because I know you can beat them, and then go after Terrence Crawford and, and, and Errol Spence Jr. Hopefully, he wouldn't have to do both of those fights. Hopefully, both of those guys would have worked it out by then, or maybe 2020, beginning of 2022, you know, spring of 2022, uh, they would have worked it out and fought each other. And then the winner could get the winner of you guys, Pacquiao. Now, I said I didn't want it to be set up like that because it kind of seemed when I put out that first video to me that they, that's what they were doing. They were, Pacquiao was in a situation where he might lose and they're going to get a rematch out of Pacquiao and possibly another fight out of Pacquiao. Now, here's another thing. I, I actually don't want to see Pacquiao, if he decides to come back, re-sign with PBC Boxing. I don't, I think, I think he should start his own promotion. He has his own promotional company. He should be fighting under his own promotional battle. I think this is where the problems are coming in because they're, they're, when he was at top rank, top rank was in control. Bob Burham was in control of of putting the fights together, the venues, picking the refs, you know, the judges, all of that stuff. Manny Pacquiao needs a 50-50 share 
in that process. He's, I don't think he's ever had like a 50-50 share in that process of being able to pick judges and pick refs and uh, pick venues. And then venues being a big thing because I think his last couple of fights deserve to be in the Philippines. The man's fought in America enough and they've made him enough American dollars off Manny Pacquiao's name. He deserves to have a fight in the Philippines in front of the Filipino people. I don't understand... And this is my problem with the Udanian, you guys' first fight. This is why I said he should have uh, postponed it or rescheduled it because he could have taken that fight out of America and took it to the Philippines, and it would have gave him a chance to um, uh, study you guys a little bit more and 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 figure out the weapons that he was going to use uh, in in that fight. And I feel like it would have actually gave the Filipino people what they've been craving all this time, and uh, which is to watch a Manny Pacquiao fight live. Plus, it would have gave him a big boost when it comes to that presidential uh, run. It would have gave the people of the Philippines, uh, uh, you know, more inspiration and uh, it would have gave them a, a, a chance just to see Pacquiao fight live. It would have been, uh, uh, I know he interacts with people every day in the Philippines, but they would it would have given them a chance to see their hero in action live, I think it would have it would have uh, put a lot of pride in a lot of people of the Philippines, man. So I I I think if he does get a chance to rematch him, if Manny Pacquiao decides, hey, this is not the end of my career yet, I think I can beat him. I'm gonna come back, give me a few months to rehab and stuff, and then we can do it again. And I would hope that you guys would be man enough to get Pacquiao a rematch. You know, I would hope I would hope, even though. Seems like they got a little bit of bad blood because of what was said about you guys being the paper champ. <laughs> but he proved he can he proved he can box, so he's he's not the paper champ. But nobody can say he's the paper champ anymore. He beat Manny Pacquiao. Uh, and here's 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 the, the the crazy thing about that. This could have been Earl Spence Jr. This could have been Earl Spence Jr. or Bud Crawford for that matter. One of them could have been the guy to defeat Manny Pacquiao. And now it's neither one of them. It's your Danish you guys. <laughs> your Danish you guys ended up being the biggest winner in this whole scenario. By everybody saying that this guy ducked this guy and this guy will beat that guy. And it ended up being your Danish you guys who's the man on top of the world right now. So big shouts out to you guys. I do feel like Pacquiao could beat you guys. Being that he prepare, he prepares in the proper uh, way to win the fight. I don't feel like he was prepared in the proper way to win this fight. I think, I think uh, overtraining played a role. I think they had the wrong game plan, and I think the fight should have been rescheduled. I think those are the three major factors that played a role against Manny Pacquiao in this fight. And I think there should most definitely be. A rematch. There's no reason uh, Pacquiao can't rematch this guy and win or lose. You know, you guys might beat him again. But I feel like that can't be the performance that Manny Pacquiao retires on. Because I, I, I would have rather him retired with the Thurman win than retire with a loss like that. You know, it just... It leaves a bad taste in a lot. And this was the problem I had with him fighting fighters that are not so popular because it, it makes him look bad losing to these guys to where if he would have lost to Spence or Crawford, he lost to the best guy out there. A lot of people don't have respect for Udanis, you guys, which is misplaced. Udanis, you guys, is an excellent fighter. We're taking nothing, I'm taking nothing away from you guys. I can't speak for everybody in the world, but I take nothing away from you guys. But the fact of the matter is, you guys wasn't considered to be the top chair fighter. He is now, today. You got to give him respect because of what he just did to Manny Pacquiao. But they were, it, people are not didn't consider him to be a top tier fighter. And now, it's, it's almost like people think Pacquiao lost to a second tier or a second level fighter. And they really want to go at him because... They that's they think he's not the same guy he used to be because he lost to a second tier fighter. I, I, I don't believe that at all. I believe you guys is a great fighter. 
he never got the exposure he deserved because he's a uh from uh from cuba and he lives in cuba he speaks fluent cuban he doesn't i don't think he speaks any english so he doesn't get the the coverage in america he de he deserves to get but it makes pacquiao look bad losing to him to be honest with you so he definitely i would definitely 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 love to see him at least avenge that loss and uh perhaps win and get the wba belt back and then retire but if he's not going to run for presidency of the philippines definitely if you get that belt back pursue the crawford and the spence fight man let me know what y'all think down below i done rambled on long enough listen man i know a lot of people probably feel like i'm gonna fold the channel up or something because you know pacquiao might retire i don't plan on shutting my channel down ever until i'm not on this earth anymore <laughs> so if you think that one fight is gonna make me shut my channel down it's, it's not man you know i'm not embarrassed by anything i said i still feel like spence ducked pacquiao uh i'm not taking that video down i do feel like he ducked pacquiao Ugh. whether he would have beat him or not it doesn't matter the fight never happened and you know shouts out to all the homies out there man who uh who who feel a certain way after Pacquiao lost? Don't feel a certain way, man. This is boxing. You win some, you lose some, but you live, Craig. <laughs> you live to fight another day. So let's hope Pacquiao fights another day, man. Let's hope this is not the last time we see Pacquiao. And I'm gonna be expanding on new topics, man. I don't expect everybody to uh, watch those videos. I'm trying to open it up to a uh, wider audience so i will be adding new topics in her uh pretty soon i will be uh speaking on other fighters uh which i've been planning on doing i just never had the time so i just focused on one fighter the main fighter that i follow the most uh which is manny pacquiao so I'm some alpha man some alpha let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man hit that like button for me and please subscribe where we at, man? Let's see where we at. Let's, let's just take a step back. Side. Crazy view, man.